Today I'm excited to <laughs> Today I'm excited to review the renowned <laughs> Today I'm excited to review the Pillow Talk Derm skincare line created by renowned dermatologist Dr. Shireen Idris. Dr. Idris is a well-respected dermatologist in the field of skincare. <laughs> Dr. Idris is a well-respected and sought-after dermatologist and has really made a name for herself in the skincare industry. She's been practicing dermatology for well over a decade and has gained a loyal following of YouTube subscribers, which at the time of filming is over 400,000 subscribers. Her channel is an excellent resource for people looking for fun, friendly, educational skincare information. She has a really approachable manner and she affectionately calls her skincare community her skincare nurse of which I am one. And in addition to her work as a dermatologist and a content creator, she has also launched her own skincare line. And she sent over the three products that have been launched for me to try. I say she sent them over like her and I are friends. Um, I guess that's probably in my head. Probably her team sent me over these three products to try, but I have to say, I kind of feel like in some type of universe, I would be friends with Dr. Shireen. She has a very laid back approach and a really, really really great sense of humor. If you follow her over there, and you should if you haven't already, uh, you really get that sense from her. And also if you know me at all from this channel, my shorts, my Instagram reels, my TikTok especially, humor is a big part of my content creation style as well. Anyway, I got these products from someone on the Pillow Talk Derm team, and I've been testing them out on my skin for the last month and a half. Pillow Talk Derm's skincare philosophy is really centered around the idea that skincare should be enjoyable and fun in addition to being very effective. The products are designed to be very gentle on the skin while still being very effective and you can see from the product design the playful color, the color purple I think is really well suited to this brand. It actually stands out on my skincare shelf and who doesn't love the color purple? I mean it, who doesn't? Although I have to admit when I first got this one I wasn't quite sure how to use it but it's actually very easy. It was a case of the user, not the product being the issue. Uh, it's kind of like a, a little bit of a needle or a dropper and you just push it on the end to dispense the product. These products are specifically formulated to target hyperpigmentation and really brightening of the skin, which let's face it, is a common issue or skin concern for many people, but most especially for those of us with vintage skin. For reference, I'm 48 years young. I have combination skin that's also sensitive prone and rosacea prone, and it's also dehydrated because of my age. The three products together are called the Major Fade Solution System, and they consist of the Major Fade Flash Mask, the Major Fade Hyper serum and the major fade active seal so let's go through each one of them one of the standout products from the line is the major fade hyper serum this serum was specifically formulated to target hyperpigmentation and really even out skin tone this is an issue that I have I struggle with sunspots or age spots and discoloration on my face as a result of the many years I spent laying out in the Sun without SPF it contains a potent blend of ingredients, including kojic acid, alpha arbutin, and tranexamic acid. They really work together to reduce the appearance of your dark spots and overall brighten your skin and your complexion. It also has niacinamide at 5% and diglucosyl gallic acid, which really help to support the skin barrier while reducing redness and strengthening the skin barrier. In addition, there's glycerin, which gives great hydration for the skin. It has a beautiful texture to it. I love creamy emulsions when it comes to my serums and this one doesn't disappoint. I dot it around my face before gently pressing it into my skin and also bringing it down my neck and across my chest. This can be used after cleansing and before a moisturizer in either your morning or evening skincare routine or both. Next up we have the Major Fade Active Seal. This product contains a really nice blend of active ingredients and hydrating ingredients, both working together to target the signs of aging and hyperpigmentation while actively hydrating the skin. You really don't need a separate vitamin C serum when you're using this product because it contains a vitamin C derivative. This one contains tetrahexyl decal asorbate. Derivatives of vitamin C are actually ideal for those of us with sensitive skin because it's more tolerable than pure L-asorbic acid. Despite its powerful ingredients, this moisturizer is really lightweight, making it very easy to apply in your morning skincare routine. For me, it layers under my makeup perfectly, but also great in an evening routine as well. And last 
last but not least, we have the Major Fade Flash Mask. This is a micro peel that you can do in the comfort of your own home. This contains a blend of AHAs and tranexamic acid that work to exfoliate the skin while brightening the skin and blending the acids in this way help to reduce discoloration, even out your skin tone, and just reveal smoother, brighter skin underneath. I've said it many times on my channel, exfoliation, and especially with something like this, is one of the only things that I've found that can give you an overnight result. And that's because it does such a great job at removing all of that surface debris that when left on the skin makes your skin complexion look quite dull. So to say this is a great thing to brighten your skin is an understatement. The AHAs in this formulation are glycolic acid at 15% and lactic acid at 3%. It also contains tranexamic acid which is really well known for its brightening capabilities. Those in combination just target the hyperpigmentation and discoloration in our skin very effectively. The directions say to use this three times a week but because my skin is sensitive and rosacea prone once per week is enough for me but I would suggest patch testing ahead of use just to be sure how your skin tolerates it and then adjust as your skin requires it and then use with discretion based on your skin. This is a mask, so I apply a very thin layer to my face and leave it on for about 10 to 15 minutes, after which I remove with warm water and carry on with the rest of my routine. Personally, when I do an exfoliation night, I actually don't use any other active ingredients. So I don't use my retinol, vitamin C, or anything other that has the potential to irritate my skin because the exfoliation process has enough of that potential on its own. So I keep the rest of my routine just focused on hydration, but if you do tend to pair your exfoliating treatments with other active ingredients, you can do so, just be wary and use at your own discretion. Of course, daily sunscreen as the last step in your morning skincare routine is one of the best things you can do to target hyperpigmentation in your skin. It will help you prevent future hyperpigmentation from happening. But it's especially important to use daily sunscreen after using an exfoliating treatment like this. Your skin will be more photosensitive as a result and more prone to burn. The Pillow Talk Derm line already has a very big following of skincare enthusiasts and skincare nerds who are raving about these products. Dr. E just clearly put a lot of thought into creating these products and I think she's using her experience from dermatology to really address what she probably sees most of in clinic, which is people struggling with hyperpigmentation that we know is very, very difficult to address with topical solutions alone. Overall, I think the Pillow Talk Derm brand has been an exciting addition to the skincare market. I'm really excited to see what Dr. Idris has in store for us in terms of future product releases. And I'm just overall impressed with the line. My skin reacted very well. I'm always cautious when it comes to products that contain glycolic acid because sometimes they can be a little bit too strong for my skin but this was no problem for me to use and again I think using it once a week really is the right amount of use for my particular skin type but the three in combination gave me no irritation no inflammation and were a pleasure to introduce to my skincare routine thanks as always for watching be sure to watch these videos up on screen if you haven't already and I hope you have a fabulous day